So you injected yourself with this bacteria that seems to make people who live around it live longer. Um, how do you feel? <laughs> well, again, it's not real science. I was just curious. I'm a permafrost scientist, first of all. I'm uh, working for Moscow State University Geochronology Department. And actually, the permafrost is a perfect environment uh, to keep the bacteria inside. What is the most important, the age of that permafrost can be million years, thousands of years. So the, qu uh, the question comes, how they can live for millions of years? So they, th they have a secret. Uh, that place, Yakutia, where I was sampling, it's known for the people living longer than in other places. So let's put a hypothesis. It has a mechanism to prolong life. And taking into account the amount, I mean, the, 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 the periods of time, forever. It has a mechanism to live forever. I consider it uh, probably would be um, difficult to find the mechanism, how it, it works, like is it repairs, for example, DNA repairs or what it is, or kind of conservation or preservation of the, the cell structures. We don't know. For example, we decode the DNA, we sequence it, but see, there are too many genes, too many proteins to understand how it works. Uh, I count more, mostly on a, on a science, on a scientific research in that area to find out the uh, uh, genes uh, which are responsible for that mechanism, the type of that mechanism, because it's, it's a mystery. Like we have a 200 different mechanisms repairing our DNA and uh, none of them efficient enough to keep up the thermal. But that thing has something which we don't know. So, I mean, believe it or not, actual science is probably more valuable than injecting yourself with uh, an oh, no doubts. Oh, no bacteria. Doubts, though. No doubts, for sure. It has been proven in uh, animal experiments. It, uh, the bacteria improved the immune system in animals. And to tell the truth, after I, uh, I took it, uh, I never had a flu for, for uh, two years, at least for two years, or any cold, any type of the cold. So maybe it's not related and it's, I have to tell, it's not real science. I haven't had science. a flu in a yes. few years either. But, but uh, yeah, my it's maybe not related to this, but still, before I had it, but Again, it's not a proof, it's not a science, but just take that in account. Mm -hmm. uh, probably we all will not have a chance to prolong our life because uh, the science is slow. We have to uh, accelerate somehow <laughs> the research. So, Do you want people to live forever? You see how sorry sometimes we are about our relatives passed away and uh, about everybody and I mean all li li what is the meaning of that life if we live that short? What is the meaning in love? And I think it would be uh, uh, important for all of us to have a tool, uh, well if not live forever but at least to prolong this, uh, life as, as far as, as you like it. I think we should probably cheers to that, to freedom and eternal life. Oh, okay. You're certainly not Russian, you see. I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, that might kill my chances at eternal life right now. By the way, uh, this bacteria is able to survive in vodka. In vodka? Yes. More than that, it looks like it's consuming the alcohol. Are we going to have uh, eternal life giving bacteria infused martinis in the future? Look, like it's very promising. <laughs> <laughs> could be, could be not just uh, a long life, but it could be even a, a good life. <laughs>